Holy I don't want to do. Movement on the stairs. What is that? What is it? Hey, up there! Oh, 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 oh. Top five shadow people caught on camera. Bloody Mary. Most people have heard the creepy legend of Bloody Mary, but in case you haven't, this is how it goes. It is said that if a person stares into a mirror in a dimly lit room and chants Bloody Mary over and over, then the angry spirit of Bloody Mary will appear behind them and try to take their soul. Some who have attempted the ghostly experiment claim to have actually seen a face, a shape, or a shadow behind them in the mirror. However, more skeptical people tend to believe that these reports are simply the result of the power of superstition and overactive imaginations. But then there's this bizarre video. So four teens decide to record their own Bloody Mary challenge. Now at first the whole thing starts out pretty silly. The teens start making wacky claims about the evil supernatural power of iPod song counts. Hey yo, what's up man, it's Trey. We doing this Bloody Mary. This proves if it's really real. Earlier we did it, and we see we saw a light, like, felt like on our legs, an yeah. arrow on the wall that wasn't there. And what's your name? Miguel. Miguel. His iPod when he came here it said six. He had six hundred forty-three songs on it. We just looked at it, and now it says six, six, six. So some real sh and weird going on. Go ahead. Then they begin their experiment with all of them chanting Bloody Mary into the mirror. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Ah, all right, go ahead. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Dang. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. As you might expect, nothing happens. But then they try again, this time moving a bit closer to the mirror. And things get a little strange. And on the count that we are going to get close to the sink, put our hands on the sink, look directly in the mirror and say Bloody Mary five times. One, two, three. Bloody Mary. Come on, Days and Mark. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. There's something behind us. Is that this? Is, that's your oh, head? is that? What the heck is that? Oh, that's not your, that's not your head. What is it? Yes, Miguel. Miguel, what? Oh, that's his head. No, no. Me. On the camera. On the camera. What the? F what the hell? Mark, come look at this camera, job. What the heck is that? Turn, turn it back off, turn it back off. What is that? What is that right there? Turn that? the light on. Turn it, turn, 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 turn it on. What is it? It ain't up there. Oh, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it back off, turn it back off. Turn it off, hurry up, hurry up. Put it up there again. What the f Turn the light on, turn the light on. What the f***? <laughs> I'm going. By the final time the group flicks the lights off, whatever the shadow might be, it seems to be spreading further up onto the ceiling. Turn it off, hurry up, hurry up. Put it up there again. What the f Turn the light on, turn the light on. What the f***? <laughs> I'm But we'll never know if the shadow continued to spread because the whole experiment gets a little too real for the teens and they bail. Under the bridge. Although it might be obvious from his YouTube channel's title, Ryan Cool Vids is in no way a ghost hunting or paranormal channel. Most of Ryan's videos are completely random, including everything from mountain biking to gaming to snow sledding. In fact, the video I will be discussing is the only paranormal video on Ryan's channel. So Ryan and his friend Trent did a ghost investigation on the supposedly haunted Ghost Trestle Railroad Bridge in Adrian, Michigan. It is said that the bridge and the railroad tracks are haunted by the ghost of a woman and her child who were struck down by a train. During their investigation, Ryan and Trent catch two odd encounters on camera. Ask your question when you're touching it. Holy What? Somebody just touched my shoulder. Holy All right, I'm turning on the app. He just grew, oh man, that's freaky. I just got the chills up my f***ing spine. Holy What? Somebody just touched my f***ing shoulder. 
but the strangest piece of paranormal evidence that they caught was only discovered after analyzing their footage later. Just as they are about to leave, they film back toward the ghost trestle as the truck passes. After the incident, we decided to leave, but as we were leaving, a car drove past us, and we caught one last spooky moment on camera. At the time, me and Trent were the only ones there, and yet there is this shadowy figure underneath the trestle as the car passed. Neither of us saw it at the time, but as I was editing the video, I noticed it, and I instantly got goosebumps. Their camera catches what looks like the shadow of a person walking behind the passing truck, but the shadow seems to just disappear into thin air. As the figure passes, the truck brake lights are not blocked out or obscured at all. And suddenly, the odd shadow figure seems to have simply vanished. And if you believe the figure might have just been a random sign or a pole or some other obstruction under the bridge, then check out the view as Ryan and Trent drive back. There are absolutely no visible obstructions that would cast the strange shadow. So just what is this figure? Passing through. Reddit user Red Key says that a female friend recently moved into a new house and immediately began to experience strange occurrences. She heard footsteps in the night. Objects were moved around the house and electronics randomly turned on by themselves. To try to figure out what was going on, she set up motion sensitive cameras around the house. This is what she caught on video. A light seems to turn off on its own, and then we see some odd shadow that actually blocks out the infrared security camera light. It seems to walk from the darkness and disappear right through the wall. On another night, the camera catches this. Again, a shadowy figure seems to appear and walk right through the wall. The original poster says that the woman who recorded the video has no experience in video editing. Furthermore, these videos are set to unlisted on YouTube, so she certainly isn't just looking for views. But what do you think? Is this a shadow person caught on camera? Is it a trick of the light? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. Something on the stairs. Jeff Young leads the UK ghost hunting group Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. In one episode of the Ghost Tech Paranormal series, Jeff and his fellow investigator Phil explore a haunted house in the small town of Halstead in England. The house's tenants say that they have experienced multiple strange paranormal events in the home, especially in the kitchen and on the house's stairs. I've heard noises on the stairs uh, a few times. I know the stairs creak. Um, but this is a different noise. It sounds like somebody is walking down the stairs. And have you heard the walking up and down the stairs as well? Yes. Just like Clive? Yep, yep. Um, I thought it was my son David, but he's in his room. So I'm laying in bed or I'm down on, in the lounge without the telly on. And I couldn't just hear the stairs creaking all the time. It was about maybe three weeks when we first moved in. I was sat in the kitchen and at the time my partner was doing the dishes and the first thing that happened was I saw legs walk into the um, kitchen and I said, I went, oh my God, I, I've just seen some legs walk in and obviously um, Rich turned around and was like, oh no you didn't, blah blah blah. So it was just the bottom half? Just the bottom half. Sure enough, during the investigation, the guys hear a bizarre voice coming from the kitchen. We just heard a voice, Phil. Come from the kitchen. Are you in the kitchen, Kevin? It was a maybe th three or four words, but whispering behind me. Okay, let me go into the kitchen. Is that you over there? Something's moving. Hmm. But while the pair are checking out the kitchen, their cameras catch something even stranger 
taking place on the house's stairs. Annoying you, which I, I don't want to do. Movement on the stairs. Okay. I hear movement coming from the stairs and our static cam in the lounge which is filming that area has captured what we believe to be the best footage of a spirit forming and then moving into a solid wall. First, we will show the footage from our static cam in the lounge area. If you look at the top of the stairs, you will see a figure form. We know that it is not contamination from the outside as we have blacked out every window in the house. Watch as it slowly appears here behind the struts of the staircase. The figure is black and solid and as I say to Phil that there is movement on the stairs you can see my IR lights as I turn the camera towards that area. And as Phil and I make our way to the stairs the figure then steps back into the wall and disappears. Here is the footage again, as it steps back into the wall with enhancements. To see the Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigation's full three-part investigation of the Hostead haunting... Don't be afraid of us or anything like that. Be sure to check out the channel, Jeff Young, on YouTube. A Place of Nightmares. Over a six month period, Colombian Twitter user Don Paramo recounted a very chilling story which took place in his new apartment. Paramo's spooky Twitter tale starts when he moves into a new apartment with his cat Octavio. Octavio! Octavio, salude! Hola! He was amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. But things soon took a turn toward the bazaar. Don Paramo said that he found many odd items in the apartment seemingly forgotten by the previous tenants. They had left behind hairbrushes, clothes, children's toys, a strange collection of porcelain dolls, and even family photo albums. Eerily, it almost seemed like the previous renters had moved out in a hurry, leaving behind many of their personal belongings. Soon, creepy things begin to happen around the apartment. Don Paramo's balcony door begins to randomly open on its own, even when locked tight. Como les dije, el apartamento tiene sus muebles viejos que combinan con lo viejo del apartamento y todo normal es hasta cogedor, excepto por esta puerta que ven acá, que entre más la cierro, más se abre y la encuentro abierta cada rato y estoy seguro de que la he cerrado y cuando vuelvo a ver, se abre solita a pesar de que le eche llave. His cat Octavio, who is usually very friendly and gentle, becomes withdrawn and aggressive. Paramo finds objects move from one place to another and starts to hear strange sounds at night, especially in his bedroom. Me había olvidado contarles lo de la cama. Resulta que me mudé acá y pues, como les dije, habían los muebles. Estaba esta una cama de cedro, pues lo más de bonita y antigua. Y quité el colchón que había y monté mi colchón en esta cama. Y resulta que dos veces me he despertado porque escucho que alguien ronca durísimo a mi lado. Y pues cuando me despierto, pues obviamente nadie puede estar roncando porque, pues porque vivo solo pero los ronquidos se escuchan durísimo y pues ni modo de decir que es de algún otro apartamento porque este es el último, el único apartamento que hay en este piso, es este y como ven en la parte de arriba pues no hay más, no hay más apartamentos. Don Paramo even says that sometimes he wakes up feeling as if someone has nudged or touched him in his sleep. He talks to a neighbor and learns that a mentally disturbed man named Tito passed away in his apartment. He died in the very same bed that Don Paramo has been sleeping in. The man's body wasn't found by the landlord until weeks after his death. Time passes and a month later, 
Don Parama wakes up to a putrid, rotten smell coming from somewhere within his home. He checks the apartment, but finds nothing that could be causing the smell. Then, he notices something that gives him chills. There are maggots crawling all over his bedroom floor. There are also more maggots in the kitchen. Feeling a bit overwhelmed by the rotten stench inside his apartment and the fly larva wriggling all over the floors, Don Paramo just leaves and goes to spend the day at a friend's house. When he returns that night, the maggots are gone without a trace, and so is the rotten smell. The videos that he captured are the only evidence that remain of the strange event. By this time, on his Twitter account, Don Paramo has built up a large following. After many audience requests, he decides to do a live Periscope stream from his apartment. What happens on the live stream shocks everyone viewing to their core. First, everything is going fine. Don Paramo gives a casual live tour of his home. How are you? How are you? Salud. Hola. Octavio vive aquí, muy tranquilo. Está estrenando una, una cama que hicieron con cuero de, de emoticón. Y pues nada, este es el, el closet que les digo. Aquí es donde, donde la parte de arriba encontré esto. Tengo todo cerrado porque está haciendo bastante frío estos días acá en Cali. Aunque no parezca. Y pues este closet es bien, pues como todo aquí en la casa, es bien viejo y es bien bien terrorico y acá en esta parte de acá arriba si ¿sí se alcanza a ver bueno esto bueno, hay cosas viejas que nunca me tomé la molestia de, de mirar que era but three minutes into the stream things take a turn towards the horrific y encontré estos encontré algunos de foto pues la verdad no voy a no voy a ahondar mucho en lo que hay en las las fotos porque pues son fotos como de una familia bastante bastante feliz una niña una familia más grande y más cosas y lo otro que encontré nuevo fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va y se los voy a mostrar did you see it watch again en la parte de afuera por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va. As Don Paramo passes by his bedroom, someone or something seems to be lying in his bed. Something dark and terrifying. Paramo doesn't even notice and continues his house tour. Later, when he returns to the bedroom, the bed is empty and there is no evidence that anything was ever there. No. No acá no hay nada. Pues Octavio estaba aquí, pero se salió nada más, yo salí. Bueno, so, is this shadowy apparition the thing that Don Paramo had heard snoring all those nights? Is it the spirit of the man who passed away in that same bed years earlier? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. By the way, if you speak Spanish or don't mind using Chrome's built-in translate function, you can follow Don Paramo for more updates on his Twitter at Opinador P.